Hi, it's me again with Quirrell Doll Tips and Tricks, part three. I should have really included this in part two, but I like to keep my video. I'm going to show you how to do this because you've already done this. So what we're going to do, we're going to group this together, control G, so we can get it out of the way. We're going to just take one of these and we're going to take the Smart Fill tool and I'm going to use a, I'm going to use this burnt orange this time. I'm going to put a, I don't know why that just kind of slowed up. Every other line, I'm just smart, I'm smart filling with the Smart Fill tool. Now, if you remember that I did group this together, my nudge factor is set still pretty high. So now we have this. I'm going to go up to object and combine it. Sometimes that works better, especially in this when we're going to use the interactive fill tool. And I'm going to go across here and I'm going to add black. You could probably do black on either uh, corner. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit more orange there. Uh, you know what? I'm going to play around a little bit. I want it really orange. I want just the tip black. And I could adjust that. Now, what's cool about this, and if you watch part two, Control-D to du duplicate it, alternate C, and alternate C is just a shortcut on my computer to put it in the center of the page, and rotate it 90 degrees, Control-D, Control-D. Now, no big deal right now, but when we put a black box around it, or you print it on black, or even a dark blue, it's going to make it look really stand, or hopefully it will, order back a page. So it looks like the inner folds are going inward. I mean, that's, I mean, how simple and quick is that? Anyway, so I think that viewer subscriber for sparking my interest again in, in this shape, because uh, I've learned something over the last couple hours trying to figure out the best way to do that. Anyway, hope that helped. Thank you for watching.